and we are back here on the Zipcrowd server. I'm as always Old Ganon, and you can see I'm currently here at my melon. Um, I did some improvements. I'm not entirely um, finished. I think I still have some space here to do some stuff. And oh yeah, I had an Enderman. Let's see if I can reach this chest there. Yeah. Oh, it's all full. With melon slices. Okay. Yeah. Apparently there was an Enderman here. So that's one danger of building with melon blocks. <laughs> so I better light off up the top, all the way in the top of the melon, because I haven't done that. And I think Endermen are gonna just steal all my melons up there if I don't. So anyway. As you can see down here, um, I did some, you know, did some building here. I have over these water streams, I have these windows, these, these glass windows in the floor. Um, so you can see the melons coming along. Um, I did a little here with quartz and just to make it look a little more fancy in here. A little bush, a little green to make it, you know, a little more colorful in here. Um, yeah, this is actually everything that has happened here. Um, as far as I think, think of at the moment. So, oh yeah, you can see here. I am preparing for 1.7 with this portal. Because as we all know, we can make custom portals, portals in 1.7. So, yeah, that, that's the one great thing. And actually, on Friday, which I don't actually know when, when this will be uploaded, but on Friday, um, two days from now, the 1.7 will actually be released if everything runs smooth on Mojang's part. So, that's exciting. Um, and for 1.7, it, it, feels a, it feels a little bit that there isn't much in it, but there has been a lot of, you know, work in the code, some stuff that is not entirely noticeable from just playing the game. But, you know, they have done some refactoring and cleaning up their code. They rewrote some, some the sound manager and, you know, all that great stuff. They improved rendering, added mip mapping and, and, and I, and what's that thing called? An isotropic filtering. That was it. That that's what it was. <laughs> I was thinking about anti-aliasing, but I don't think you know that's in there as a shader. But I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let's see what I want to do here today. And I should skip the night, actually. So it gives me some more time to ramble about 1.7. So yeah, it's got a nice amount of new blocks. We have some more wood. Um, the old wood blocks actually now have individual surfaces. So, you know, the, the bottom and top of the logs, they were all the same. Or they are all the same at the moment. And, you know, for example, birch will have, well, you will see the light wood in the middle of it. So that'll be nice. Um, and yeah, we will, the new glass, the transparency of some stuff is fixed, at least from, for blocks. Um, if you have an entity that, or particles that are slightly transparent it will still mess up oh there's no bed here okay so let me just quickly skip the night and then i'll be right back okay so it is daytime now and let's check out what i'm going to do today so i'm not gonna do much with redstone today i'm just gonna build something because i'm just in a mood for it and yeah, 
I just want to build something cool. And I picked a spot here, north of spawn. And yeah, I think you guys might like it. Oh, and back there you can see Pumps' ship popping out. <laughs> oh man, that thing is amazing. I don't want to know how much planning that took and, you know, building. Oh man. Um, yeah, we're going to build something here in the water, but not of that scale. Um, so I've got some stuff to build here. Let's just take some of it. Don't need you. Okay. Yeah, this should be fine. So I want to build a submarine here. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, let's see, I have, I built something in, in creative and I hope I can now replicate it now here. Okay. So going to be some counting involved. There's going to be some counting involved here. So we have one, two, three, um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. That's as far as this goes. And <laughs> okay, I'm now going to just build everything that you'll, you'll be able to see above water. And the rest I'm just going to do off camera because that's a lot of tedious work removing all the water. And yeah, let's just get this little platform, platform going. Oh, yeah, throw my, throw away my slabs. Okay. So this is going to be not very real, not be really a realistic um, submarine, I think. Um, for one, it's going to be way too small for a submarine. And yeah, I'm going to try to make it as, as, look as fancy as I can. Okay, so we have one, two. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And, you know, this is just everything that's going to stick out of the water. Oh, man. This will take me a lot of clay. I don't even know if this is enough what I brought. It could be, but I'm not quite sure. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay. So now I'm going to build a little, you know, that little tower thingy where the entrance is. Then go down. This is just going to extend up here. Got the ladders with me. We're gonna do the, those straight away. There, I'm gonna leave some space for windows. And I think I had these. Yes, these were also um, left free. Some of my class panes. Flunk, flunk. I had these in there. And these, these cuddle walls, I'm going to use them up here quite a bit. They're very useful, I think. And they look great if you use them correctly. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I will build a little little thing for me to step on. Okay. Yeah, this will also extend out here. I almost forgot about that. And then we need some ladders, which will go up here and up here. 
and yeah. And then what I found looked kind of kind of nice was to put half slabs on these these fences like that. Um, oh yeah, and I also have some fences. Let's see. Ah, oh, dang it. That didn't work out. Actually, I don't even need to hop on them. Okay. So now we're gonna do this little, this little, what would you call this radio tower they have up here? Probably not radio tower, but you know, this antenna, antenna they have going on top. Um, okay, <laughs> I lost how much I counted. Oh, I need one more. Whoops. There we go. And let's see. And then what I'm also going to do is... I need you. But that's wrong. Put you down here, so you know, just have a trapdoor to get in. Okay, great. Oh, and also, I have these little. Oh man, just to make it, <laughs> just some random towers. I don't know what they are. I saw them on photographs. You know, just some. Some of these little poles sticking out of the submarines. So mostly old World War II submarines have a lot of stuff and strings going on top of here. And I think what this thing is going to end up looking is, is going to be some kind of mixture between modern and and old early submarines because the early submarines had a lot of, you know metals and poles and strings and whatnot going up on top of here and you know had a but a very weird you know more of a ship-like um, form of the body and what i'm building here is something that has a lot of stuff going on here but the body of this whole thing will be a lot more modern so you know this is minecraft which is nice i can do whatever i want that is exactly what I'm going to do. Well, let's see here. You know, I think I'm just gonna start on the tail end here. One, two, three. Um, yep, that should be fine. One, two. One, two, three. Oops. Yeah, let's just fill this with cobble. No one will ever see it. <laughs> you know, I rarely do this to fill to fill stuff with other blocks. I just it just has to be one one block through and through. But with the clay, nah, <laughs> I can't do that. Just way too annoying to form that stuff. And I actually don't know if you will be able to see this block in the end. You won't be able to see this, but it doesn't have to be there, so I'm just going to remove it. Oh, these zombies. Okay, so I'll finish this. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at it. I haven't even shown it to you. What am I doing here? Okay. I think this looks very nice. It looks kind of flat at the moment. And I'm now seeing one problem. There's all, all the stuff spawning on top of there. Um, but I think this is actually this is actually pretty nice. You know, now I just need to build the stuff below and I think this will this will look great. This will look very great. And then 
what I'm gonna do. Oh no, I'm not gonna spoil it, no. We have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna finish this now off down below and then I'll be right back. And I'm done. Okay, so here you can see I've added some more details. I have these little wings on top of the windows. <laughs> I wanted to say fenster there for a second, which is the German word for window. Okay, so little, you know, these, I don't know what to call them. They stick out, you know, just give it some more detail. They look nice. And then I added these, like, what are those steel ropes, steel strings, which basically run all over this um, submarine. Um, looks very nice. And you can't really see it that well, but I finished, you can see roughly the outline finish like the underwater part um, of the oh yeah I've got a respiration helmet you can see it finished on the water part um, you know the back part here very nice I very much like it I'm very satisfied with <laughs> with this submarine <laughs> You know what? <laughs> oh, why did I build this thing out here? It's so beautiful. But next to Pomps' boat, I think everything looks 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 like nothing. <laughs> but this way, I have a great look at it at Pomps' ship. Okay. Anyway, let's check out oh, how it looks from the inside. And <laughs> you can see I have not removed the water. Oh, some squids in here. A submarine for squids, yay. That makes sense. Okay, you can see I've got a little space to work with here. And I'll have to, have to think about what I put in here and how I, you know, how I lay this out in here. Um, you know, but most of all, this is just a fun build. Just to... Because I wanted to build something and... Submarine just... For some reason I had submarine in my head and... That's why I built one. And I love it. So. But anyway, I'm glad you could join me here today for this episode. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.